So now let's go to our case. It's a kitty cat. It's a child. There's a little bit of an effusion. Let's go right to the heart of the matter. Let's put up our coronal projection. It's very hard to tear anything in a child because the tissues are so healthy and resilient. There is our lateral meniscus, our root, and our very well-established, beautiful, dark root ligament, the posterior root ligament on the lateral side. Let's go to the medial meniscus. There's our medial meniscus posterior horn, and there is our root ligament, but it does not attach to the bone. That's cortical bone. That's the root ligament. There is a little space between the two. Don't believe it? Let's blow it up. There's a little space between the two. Let's look at the next slice. Still a little space. Let's look at the, the slice behind it. There are some of those frayed, fibrillated fibers of the root ligament that should flatten down on the tibia. And look at the meniscus. It's subtly floating upwards. It's a child with an isolated root ligament detachment from the medial meniscus. So that concludes our discussion of anchoring of the meniscus by demonstrating in a child detachment of the medial meniscus posterior root ligament. And to add just a little bit of fury to the case, let's make sure we see it sagittally. There's the root ligament on the lateral side, nice and flush. Let me blow it up one more time. Nice and flush right there. Now go over to the medial side. Sorry, here's the medial side. It's not so flush, is it? That's the root ligament floating off of its normal tibial attachment surface. We go to the next cut. There's the interface between the ligament and the meniscus. And once again, it is not flush on the surface of the tibia. It's a beauty.